Hey guys, this is Dave the Software Dev, and today I'm going to show you a little bit about modal dialogues with Bootstrap. I really like mo uh, the modal dialogues available in Bootstrap. They're super easy to drop into your product, super easy to code, and uh, without any further ado, let's just jump into it. So I'm including the, uh, the Bootstrap CSS file here, and we're also going to use a little bit of jQuery code and the actual uh, Bootstrap JS as well. I'm going to, um, let's start actually with the code of the modal. I'm going to drop a div tag in here. I'm going to give it a class of modal hide so it won't show up initially. And let's give it an ID of dialog example. So a modal is broken up into three pieces. You have a modal header, a modal body, and a modal footer. So let's do our modal header right now. So it's just a div with that class, modal header, I'm missing a quote mark there. And Let's close that out, and then I'm going to grab this div, just so I don't have to type so much. And we're going to drop a modal body and a modal footer. So in my header, I'm just going to put a, uh, a little heading tag, and we're just going to call this my modal dialog. Close out my heading, and in my footer, I'm going to drop a couple of buttons. I'm actually going to use the link anchors. I kind of prefer those. And let's put a class of button on this one, and we're going to call it close. And let's put a class of button primary on this one. We're just going to call this save, because that's what you'll see on most modal dialogues. And the actual body itself, I'm not going to put anything other than just a little message. So that's actually all you have to do to sort of uh, create your modal dialog. Uh, it's just HTML with three pieces. If I uh, opened this up and looked at it, I wouldn't even see anything because this div has a class of hide. So let's, uh, let's put a little button on here that's going to uh, open up our dialog. I'm just going to put inside of a paragraph a link um, pointing to nowhere. The ID is button show modal show modal dialog. All right, let's make that active. Let's just uh, drop a new script tag in our header. Now inside of our uh, document ready function, let's just drop a click event on that button show modal. You can also use document.on. We're going to call a function with an event. We're going to prevent the default action of that event. And then all we have to say here is my dialog, oops, dialog example, is that what I called it? Uh, yep, dot modal with a show command. Okay, now here's our little page. I've got my link there with the show modal dialog, and I'm just going to click it. So you can see our, uh, our modal header. It's pretty big text. We might not want to use text that big. We have our modal body and then here are our two buttons in the modal footer. doesn't really do anything yet, but it's that easy to pop it up. If I click off of it, it does go away. So let's make our close and save buttons active. To do that, I'm going to, for the close, we just want to close out the dialog. We don't really want to do anything. And that's really easily by, done by adding a data dismiss equals modal um, attribute to that close button. Let's refresh this. Click close, and it's gone. To make the actual save button do something, let's drop an ID on it. Call the button save. And then up here in our document ready, let's add an event. And we're just going to say dialog example dot modal with the hide event. Before I do that, I'll, I'll give an alert. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to refresh, show modal. I can close and I can also save. See my little JavaScript pop up here. And then the modal goes away. So I've shown you how to define a modal dialog. I've shown you how to open up one. And I've shown you how to close one both with a data attribute and with uh, JavaScript. So if this video helped you out, please like, share, favorite it, and I uh, hope I helped you.